Hey Chica, so you probably have noticed this already, and if you haven't, then, well, you haven't watched my videos, and you should. Anyway, so I'm using a video camera, it's a Sony something something, and yeah, so I really needed this video camera because I'm going to show you my shoe collection, and if I use my laptop, I don't think it would work. So, um... Right now, if you guys have noticed or haven't noticed for my lips, sorry, I'm touching my hair. Um, I'm wearing the Revlon Lip Butter, and it's in the shade Gumdrop. It's like a purpley shade, although you can't really notice it because it kind of becomes pink for my light, which is like yellow for some reason. And on top of that, I'm wearing the Liplicious Frozen Daiquiri by Bath & Body Works. So let's get started. So I'm going to give you an overview right now. And I'm going to go individually over each row, although some, I really forget where they're from because I have had most of these shoes for three or four years. Um, I'm still a size 7, sadly, so my feet can't grow and my feet will always be piquito or pequeña. I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know the difference. And I really want to make a disclaimer before I start going over these. My mom and I have split the cost for most of my shoes since I was very young. And um, some of them I paid for my own money, but some um, I've had for a couple years, and some um, were like necessities. And I don't mean to brag in any shape, way, or form. This is just a common watch video by most teenagers or women or men or boys or whomever. Whomever checks out my channel. And I just want to say that I don't mean to brag. I mean, people watch these videos for fun. And yeah, let's get started. I think I've had enough of an intro. So over here, this is my boots, somewhat of boots. Um, these are my favorite black and only black. Um, they kind of have a heel boots. They're from MJM. They were around 50 bucks. 15, blah, what am I saying? Like 50 bucks. And I got them three years ago, so I don't know. Um, this is from a like local love girl, <laughs> local store, so I don't know where that came from. Sadly, these shoes are my absolute favorite shoes in the world. Although they have a lot of wear and tear, and I don't mean to be a put down on Delia's or anything, but these shoes broke um, after two weeks, and I've been wearing them for two months, and they totally fell apart on me. And I love these shoes, and it's so upsetting. I mean, look at this. Two months in the making of that, and I don't even like play kickball to get them dirty or anything. <sighs> so, these are my Forever 21 comeback boots. I got them in January. I don't know if you can get them now, but if you can, I would definitely recommend them because on the inside, inside, they kind of have, um, I don't know if you can really see, it's kind of like a red plaid pattern and you can fold them down. These are my Doc Martens, and I don't know where I got them from, sadly. And we have my Uggs over here. I don't really need to show you. But on top of that, if you can see, the black and the red are the same thing. They're the Me Too brand. They were $40. And these shoes, um, my mom got these for me for a wedding, so I can't really um, brag about that, but they're like... Um, hot pink and suede. I think they were from JC Penny um, for like 20 bucks or something. And these are my absolute favorite and only pair of white flats, and I adore them. But sadly, look what happened. This is a disaster. I need to get a new pair, even though these are absolutely amazing. They're amazing. And those are also from a local store. And we kind of have like my miscellaneous, actually, no, it's just my Oxfords and um, my sneakers. So I have my Oxfords. They were $20 from Bamboo, and I treasure them. These are my Vans. They were $50 bucks at DSW, and I paid for them. Just letting you know. Same with the Coach shoes. I got a gift card for my birthday, and I used this on the Coach store, or online Coach store, because they were having a sale, and these were amazing. They were $50 as well. These Ed Hardys were $35 from MJM. And, yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, this is also kind of a miscellaneous row. Actually, my moccasins take up half of it, or three-quarters of it, or whatever. Um, 
I really want to say that there's so much irony between these three moccasins because these gray ones, which are amazing, and these tan ones are the Target brand, and you can still find them now. They're $9 to $11. These were 9 and these were 11 and they're even more comfy than these. And these are the real Minnetonka moccasin brands, if you can see them. And I paid like $60 for them, and sadly, you can see they make like my feet look big. Well, you can't really tell, but I don't know. They don't like fit right. These are my knockoff Tums from Wet Seal. I think you can still get them. They're fifteen dollars. And these are my fake Sperry's. They're from the brand Dexter, and they kind of have like a red, white, and blue, yellow, green. I don't know. It. I want to say it's red, white, and blue because those are the colors that you know appear most on them. So yeah. And then we have my flip flops and um like sandal area and the white and the black are from Old Navy they're five dollars always are so you know they're just random flip flops and these I don't think you can find them now but they were like from Forever 21 they were, were um, about six dollars and I got them like a year ago these I have no idea sorry I think I don't know I really don't know so yeah forget that um these two shoes were from Aeropostale, obviously, you can see that. And they're the same, obviously, again. And they were $20 each at Aeropostale. But I think now you can find them for like 10 bucks. So I should have gone for the sale with those. And these are also from Aeropostale. They were $25. And I got these two years ago, so maybe you don't know where it is. And this is also a miscellaneous thing. I guess it's like my wedges. I have so many miscellaneous um, things here. And then I really can't say sorry about my heels because I honestly don't know where they're from or how much I paid for them. <sighs> Except for these. These are um, from Delia's. I actually, um, I don't know if you call it a splurge, but it was kind of like an obnoxious buy for me because I absolutely adored these shoes and they were um, like $35 when I got them. And if I had waited two weeks, I could have got them for 10 bucks. So these are like... I don't know, like pink little suede heels. Thank God they show up as the exact shade on the camera. So that's what it looks like. Um, I really recommend these. They're really gorgeous and they look like salsa dancing shoes. So I love them. Those are my gym shoes. These are my fuzzy slippers. These are my Nikes and these are my other slippers. I don't know if you can find them now at Target, but I got these on Black Friday for 15 bucks. They're so comfy. Yeah, so that's it. Sorry.